The current Siam behind me is basically the first of its kind in South Africa. It's the top of the range Siam from Siemens. So what is a Siam? It's basically a x-ray capturing machine shaped in a, in a sea. And what we have to do as vascular surgeons, the pathology is all over. So we actually need to open a vessel surgically. So that's why we need the theater. But then at the same time, while we've got the blood vessels open, we actually have to do angiograms. And this then helps us. So we can do everything you can do in a cath lab, but with the added advantage of also being able to have the surgical expertise at hand. Having this piece of equipment, we really can uh, change uh, completely profile of our practice. We can firstly diagnose and correct a lot of uh, pathology which two, three, four years ago would be only rectified during the major surgery. Remember that those patients who came to us with uh, vascular problems are very sick people. They don't have the only problem with the arteries which we are uh, going to repair. They also have a problem with the heart, they have a high risk of stroke, so they have a very high associated mortality of, of dying from the heart attack and, uh, and stroke. Most of the procedures are either for patients who've got blockages in their arteries um, or the patients who've got big aneurysms of their, of their blood vessels. So those are the brunt of, of our work. This is our usual setup that we will have in theatre now with our current state-of-the-art uh, Sion that we require the Milton Mini Clinic. It's the first of its kind that we currently have in South Africa. It's a Siemens. We've got full mobility with the C-arm up and down and this will all be covered with sterile drapes so we're fully in control of the whole system. Also here we've got a full touch screen that we can decide exactly what images we want to use to have the optimal outcome. The current model has got a bigger field of view so you can actually do less runs on the same patient so it's less radiation. Um, the actual imaging quality is a lot better so we can do a lot of magnification views where we can easier see the actual pathology. It helps us to work quicker, um, more to the point. We don't have to do a lot of screening. Um, so the operative time is less and we all know if you've got less operative time, the quicker the patients can go home the next day and less the chances of wound related infection and all the other complications you basically reduce. This patient can be discharged home very quickly. They don't stay in the hospital for longer than one night after angiogram. Complication rates are very low and uh, it's definitely changed our practice. I think this definitely sets us apart from the general cath lab that we are used to using. Cath labs, um, although they do have their place in cardiology and maybe neurointervention, I think the future for vascular surgery and vascular intervention is definitely to, either, is to have a C-arm at your disposal where you can do open surgery combined with endovascular surgery. I think from now on in the near future, all vascular surgeons will be um, practicing in similar ways.